Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today um, I'm just taking a little bit of a side video. Um, I'm doing a video on how to fit an air horn to my transit custom out there. Um, but basically I wanted to do this little video here just as a little brief explanation into how a relay works because um, obviously that video is more for how to fit and install and all that. And obviously, you know, my, my channel is aimed at people, you know, the general people that don't do this for a living like I do. And maybe something like this sounds daunting, but it's not. And I think if you have a basic understanding, it just makes everything easier. So I'm just going to do a quick run through on how a four pin relay works. It's just alongside my other video. And I might tag this in other videos in the future just to try and help you a little bit. So, um, yeah, let's take a look. And if you get value from this video, hit the like button and subscribe to support this channel. Right then, so the first thing um, I could probably explain is why we use a relay. So just a quick, quick understanding. So say, for example, now you're wiring in lots of LED lights or strobes or beacons or lots of things into your vehicle. And you're going to be running a lot of power through one switch. So obviously, say for example, you want 15 or 20 amps worth of power. Um, a switch is really going to struggle. Plus, you're going to be loading up that wire that's going from your battery all the way into your dash and then all the way back out. Or you're going to be piggybacking it off the fuse board. And then the problem is you don't know what other loads are used by that fuse that you're piggybacking off. So you've got to be quite careful when it comes to taking lives away from things inside your vehicle and sending them down to whatever you're going to run. So um, easiest way of doing it is to use a relay. Now, obviously, in a relay, it's basically a switch, right, which is electronically operated. That's the easiest way of putting it. So basically, we got our power in, which is number 30, always number 30. And then it comes in, it goes through, and then we got our switch. So 87 is our out. So if this arm comes down, the two contacts touch, the power comes in, through, and down. So if I was to quickly draw that for you, I just, you know, wire coming out there. Say we got a horn, which is obviously what I'm using this video as an explanation of. So it comes to your horn, down, and then earth, obviously, down underneath. So then when this arm comes down and touches, your power, just draw that on now to make life a little bit easier. So I think that's, you know, it's the right way around. And then earth. So we've got earth, battery, power comes in here. If someone was to push that arm down, so these two contacts basically arrow there, so it touches, the power would come through, down, through your horn, set your horn off, and then to earth. So that's the simplest way of looking at it. So um, basically, what actually operates that arm is the other thing. So what we've got then, we've got two other wires. Now this is the other circuit inside your relay. So what we've got, we've actually got a windings. So as we know with any sort of windings, with obviously when you send power through windings, it creates an, an, like a magnetic field. So when we send power, so say for example, we were ha to have this one at an earth, and then this one here was to be via a switch, Right, we just draw that on there. So basically, if we were to switch this switch and send power through this windings, it creates a magnetic field. Now, when it creates a magnetic field, this metal bar up by here is attracted downwards, which obviously pulls it down, creates the contact, and that gives you your power. Now, why use a relay? Because a relay can use a low current as a switch to switch high current. So what we can do, you know, theoretically, what you could do, you could have this relay underneath your bonnet. All you've got to do is wire from your battery to pin 30, from pin 87 down to your horn, your lights, your strobes, whatever you want, then from them to earth. Then all you've got to do is put 86 to earth and then send a supply from pin 85 into the dash to a switch and then obviously to your fuse board. Now the other way of doing it to make it even easier again would be to not put the switch on the supply side and to put the switch on the earth side. So if I was to put a switch here, so say I was to take power from the battery, so I put power to 30 and 85 and then say I was to run pin 86 to a switch inside the cab, as soon as I 
earth that switch out. So if I was to run from the other side of the switch to earth, as soon as I earth that switch out, I am then earthing out my windings, which is then engage my relay. And then you are literally one in one wire, which is a look, well, it's an earth wire. So there's no major current going through it into the dash, into your switch and down to earth, which is just the simplest way of wiring any anything aftermarket up because you know it's just there's no messing around so yeah so i hope i hope that helps and i hope that gives you a better understanding of relays and basically why we use relays but yeah so um yeah thanks for watching and if you get value from this video hit the like button and subscribe to support this channel